Hi everyone, it's John here, T4 Family. Super excited today to announce that our friends at Old Pro have asked us to join them as 2020 brand ambassadors for their range of outdoor leisure products. What they've done is they've sent us this amazing cocoon breeze air awning for us to have a look at. We're going to get it on long term test, we're going to set it up now, see how it goes and um, see how it works. Okay, so the tent's up as you can see. Uh, let's go inside and have a look around. As you probably noticed on the time lapse, there are three main beams uh, to this air awning. Two towards the back that will form the bedroom area, and then there's the, the large bar at the front. We've also got these um, storm bars uh, that are used to add extra rigidity towards the front of the tent. I think this is quite a good addition. Uh, we had another air tent before and one of the things that we found was um, they had a, a lot of these large up and over beams um, and, and that was quite a lot to put up um, and added quite a bit of weight whereas these storm bars are, are a fantastic idea because uh, it gives you that extra space. Looking at the floor, you've got uh, three and a half meters across the width. Uh, so at the back, what that means is there's a clip-in five-person bedroom. So you have plenty of room in here um, if there's five or less of you. There's only four of us, two adults, two children. So when we put the clip-in bedroom here, there's going to be plenty of room for everyone. Another nice touch that I noticed uh, that we haven't seen in any of the other awnings is this big mesh panel at the back so um, that unfolds from the outside and uh, it allows you to get a little bit more air through the awning itself as you can see lovely bright windows at the front here all of these windows um, have um, toggle out clips so um, you can just undo the toggles um, pop that across and then you can zip those in so all three of the windows have the same feature the side window there just untoggles at the bottom and then zips up um, i like the fact that it's zip from the bottom because it means that if you only want to zip it up halfway you can do that um, so that's a nice touch we also noticed that all of the the zips uh, that are going to be exposed to the rain when you open them up they've got storm flaps on the outside now this is absolute game changer because when you're out on a campsite and it's raining the last thing you want is for water to come in through these zips down in the corner here at the front you've got a little opening zip that means if you've got uh, an electricity cable that you need to feed in from the campsite or from your van you can do that you can zip that nice and um, tight there the ground sheet is sewn in and it's tubbed so that means there's very very little chance of getting any water in from the outside um, even if you're on a slopey pitch and it's raining the water's going to run underneath the tent it's not going to come into the tent i also noticed these little velcro clips here um, up the side of this air beam and then this goes up to uh, a hook um, reasons for that you're going to hang your lights so you're just going to run your lights up there hang your lamp at the top keeps the cable nice and tucked away moving to the other side uh, we've got an, another really big door uh, unfortunately because we're still in lockdown at the moment the van is pa packed away we can't get out and attach it to the van okay let's get the bedroom area out get that clipped in and see what that looks like A 
Okay, there you go. So as you saw, very easy to get the, the bedroom clipped in. There are six anchor points at the bottom um, that just hook on. If we go in close, have a little look. So we've got these plastic clips. They just clip onto the hoops in the floor. Then when you pull the tent up, I don't know if you can see it back there, but the one in the middle is a, is a clip. And then there's a clip here at the front, clip here at the front, and then all of the, the other bits just toggles just to pull the, the screen out to form its shape. So having a little look from the outside, two bedroom setup. Um, looks like we've got some storage here at the front. Now we had this on um, one of our previous tents and, and this is fantastic. If you've got kids and you need to just chuck their books or little bits and bobs and you want them off the floor, these little stash pockets are absolutely fantastic for that. Let's have a little look inside. So the way this is set up, um, you have the, the two berth bedroom on the left hand side here. Um, there should be enough room there to, looks like you'd be able to get a, a double sized self inflating mattress there. You've got another couple of pockets on the sides just to tuck your phones or your glasses or whatever you need in there. Nice big airy mesh at the back. Um, so you're going to get a, a nice bit of airflow through. Hopefully it shouldn't be too hot. Have a look on the other side. Same setup. This is uh, this will be the adult bedroom, as it were, um, in our setup. So three berth in this one, um, more than enough to get a double air mattress or self-inflating mattress in here. Um, more cubbies, little grab pockets on the side. Also noticed up here at the back, we've got a hook for hanging up uh, a light or something. You also notice as well that this. This screen in the middle, it does unzip. Let's get that unzipped. And again at the floor. And as a result, this now opens up into a very generously sized um, family bedroom, as it were. Just wanted to come back outside and show you some of the features on the outside. So just quickly looking around, um, when you've got it set up in its, its own setup, you've got a little flap here at the front. This is gonna add extra stability. So if you're in a, a windy situation, it'd have to be very, very windy to bend these tents over, especially with the storm bars fitted. Um, but if you have a lot of force on the front, it could push your tent forward. So these lines, you're gonna peg these out. That'll stop that from happening. If it's really, really stormy, you've got these, these belt clips. Um, so what you have here is you have very, very strong um, storm webbing that comes off of these and then they anchor down into the floor. Um, we've been out in some really gusty weather before um, with an air tent and the, the performance with an air beam tent compared to a pole tent is like night and day. It really is. If you're out and it's going to be windy, you want air beams. You don't want poles. Come down to show you how the, the air beams um, the connectors work on them. So it's really nice touch putting these little zip covers over because you don't want to bash into these and you, you don't really want them getting wet either. But unzip these, under here you have the air valve. So when you are doing up your tent, um, you'll, you'll twist all this together, your air pump, I'll just grab the air pump, show you how this bit works. You grab the twisty connector and that just twists on. A little bit tricky to do it one-handed while trying to film with the other. But yeah, once you've got that, that's nice and secure on here. You can now go ahead and, and pump up. The pump that comes with the kit um, has a built-in um, pressure release valve set at 7 PSI. So you just keep pumping um, until it gets firm. And if you if it gets too firm, this um, pressure release valve is, is going to um, let some air out so that you, you don't damage the beams. But once you're all finished, undo the, uh, undo the pump, put the cap on the end, and then unzip the flaps down. Again, more side stabilizing guy lines. These ones are, are more to um, keep the, the fabric off of the bedroom inside 
Um, so just keep that nice and taut so that if it rains, the, the water's gonna run straight down. Up at the top here, we've got another connector for another um, storm lashing. Uh, this is the, the back of the bedroom and, and you can see the, the ventilation screen that I previously mentioned. Just undo these toggles. Let that down and then these zip down. So that's all nice and secure now. You're not going to get rain in there. We've got the, the flat protection in there so there's no water going to get in through those zips. Now this is the, the awning tunnel. Unfortunately I can't show you this in any more detail today but we do have on there, we have a, a standard K-door strip. This will go into the awning rail on your vehicle or quite commonly you'd have like a, a quick release rail um, so you'd have like a it's another piece of strip like this and then it connects to that and then that connects to the van you can see there's adjustments here to um to to take up any slack depending on how high your van is our van's going to be quite low so it's it's going to come down to about here but you know, i think when i looked on the website it, this will fit vans up to 2.1 meters so you've got quite a lot of flexibility there so yeah, here you go. This is the Old Pro Cocoon Breeze. It's a three beam air beam tent. Sleeps five with the clip-in bedroom. Now you can get a bunch of optional extras for this as well, which is quite nice. If you think that this tent isn't long enough for you, I mean, it's about, I think it's four and a half, five meters long. But um, if you need even more space, just up inside here, you notice that there's a another um, zip section here so you can buy an extra extension for this awning it zips onto here and then just brings you out um, again and you have another air beam and then this panel here at the front which is currently the front of the the awning this unzips completely zips out and then you bring that one forward and you zip that into your extension and then that extends your living space inside just that a little bit more other accessories that you can get for this you can get a fully waterproof footprint which is an extra ground sheet uh, now i'd say go for it definitely get the the footprint we've had footprints with every awning and tent that we've had over the years and the great thing about having a footprint is you put it down, you peg it, peg it out, and straight away you know exactly where your tent is going to sit. So the other thing that they're really good for though is once they're pegged in, um, you put your tent down on top of it. If it rains or it gets muddy, it's not the bottom of your tent that's getting muddy, it's the footprint. So you can pack your tent away, you know it's all gonna be nice and clean, and then you can pull up your footprint take it home give it a jet wash pack it away off you go again i do believe you can also get um, a fitted carpet uh, for the cocoon as well so that will give you an extra bit of insulation on the floor but it's also a little bit kinder on your feet a little bit home from home so have a look on the old pro website this is the old pro cocoon breeze quite often they'll have a deal on get everything so you can get the the footprint and the, the carpet as a bundle. And as I mentioned, you've got the option for the extension as well. So if that's your kind of thing, go for that one as well. Okay, so we've seen how the tent went up, we've seen around. Now we've just got to find out how easy it goes back in the bag. So there you have it, the old Pro Cocoon Breeze air awning. We put it up, we had a look round, we saw how it went back down again. Good tent, can't wait to get out, see how it works in the field. Mm -hmm.